Let us continue the Bible study from the book of Galatians. Today we will be focusing on Epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Galatians chapter 6 verse 6. The one who is taught the word is to share all good things with the one who teaches him. Galatians 6 verse 6. In the Old Testament, God's chosen people had been taught to bring non-Jews and outsiders into the camp of Israel. They were to proclaim the God of Israel as the only true Lord and Savior. Gentile believers were to become Jewish proselytes, and were to be circumcised, adhere to the law, participate in the feasts, keep the Sabbath day sacred, and worship the Lord in His holy temple. New Testament believers, however, have been instructed to go, and share the good tidings of salvation with lost men and women, making disciples of all nations. While Israel were to bring people into the camp of God, Christians are called to go out into all the world preaching the good news of the gospel of grace, to unsaved Jews and Gentiles alike. Being taught to share the gospel, by those early Christian teachers, was the hallmark of the early church. They were to fellowship with one another, sharing, helping, edifying, and encouraging each other in their common faith. As well as contributing material and financial gifts to one another, when a necessity arose. Or by giving time and support to the one in need. And we are to do the same. They were to be responsible for the well being of their Christian friends, supporting one another in their lack, rejoicing in their increase, and making sure that those endowed with the gift of pastor teacher were similarly provided for, through individual, voluntary but cheerful offerings. As believers, we have all been blessed with every spiritual blessing from above, and are instructed, by the Word of God, and through church elders and Christian ministers, to share our blessings, both material and spiritual, with others, so that they in turn are enabled to rejoice in the Lord for His provision, and go further afield themselves, to bless others, who cross their path. Sowing and reaping blessings in this way is a biblical principle, that benefits both the giver and the one that receives, as well as honoring the Lord our God, from whom all blessings flow. Learning the truth and passing it on to others, is a beautiful way of going out into the world to share with others. Truths that we ourselves have learned in our Christian life, from those that taught us. May we seek to sow to the Spirit, by investing our time and talent, money and material possessions, gifts and godly graces wisely. May our offerings be carried out in ways that honor the Lord, by ministering to others as God desires, so that we may lay up for ourselves spiritual treasure in heaven, knowing that the things of this world will all pass away, while the things of value are permanently laid up in heavenly places, for those that love the Lord, and walk in spirit and in truth. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that we are not islands, but members of Christ's body and part of the universal Christian Church. May we go out and share the good news of the gospel of grace, and give freely of our time, talent, money, and knowledge, knowing that we too have been blessed by those who have taught us, may we also be a blessing to those with whom we come in contact, this I ask in Jesus' name. Amen.